Be hostile to free expression. What can we? Uh, it's certain, For just, just, I haven't got my pants off yet. I mean, that's just to begin with. If people say it should protect a religious person from feeling bad um, at anyone who doesn't like their religion, that's. Yes, there's, there, there are two words that have become rather creepy in the last few years. And one is respect, which in fact in the last few weeks has sort of rather swollen out of all meaning. And, and it's, it's a Weasley word. Your friend George Galloway, of course, has a party called it. And he quite No, it's called respect to, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because the, the T stands for trade unionism. <laughs> <laughs> respect to would but be an quite, order of the state in Chaucer. It quite Romania. deliberately calls on... It's an anagram of spectre. <laughs> it is, which of course... As we know, James <laughs> Bond's uh, nemesis, as it were, although he was their nemesis. But um, the word respect, which in the sense he uses it, of course, is culled from a, a, essentially a kind of South Central Los Angeles, a, a black African word. You know, we're right back to Aretha Franklin and R E S P E C T. It's a word which is for understandable reasons. Um, there wasn't much black people had left, but their sense of self respect and their demand to be respected as a people and so on, and that's very natural and understandable, but it since also has a kind of daily mail meaning of um, not dropping litter and gobbing in the street and, uh, and, and being yobbish and unpleasant when you're drunk. Uh, it's not showing respect. And the other word is offence. It's now very common to hear people say, I'm rather offended by that, as if that gives them certain rights. It's actually nothing more, it's simply a whine. It's no more than a whine. I find that saying, so offensive. I find that offensive. Oh, That's, right. it, it has no meaning, it has no purpose, it has no reason to be respected as a phrase. I am offended by that. Well, so fucking what? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's uh, utterly well, uninteresting. Well, rather, what if one was to behave in this way? Um, I think people have, must accept, you know, some part of myself, I hope the law passes, just as I hope that in America they impose compulsory prayer in schools and ban the teaching of uh, Darwin because then they'd find out what it was like. And also you have, as we've had here, the mass production of atheism. You can only get it with compulsory and established religion. <laughs> so let's let them have what they want. And then I'll tell you what I'll do if this law passes. I will, I will go to a lawyer and we will go to the Attorney General and we will say, um, it is our understanding that last week the Iraqi insurgency fired on the Ashura parade, the holiest day of Shia Islam, yes. shot in the back the chief aide of, uh, of Grand Ayatollah Sistani, the spiritual leader of most Iraqi, uh, put a bomb in a mosque, and so anyone who has said in public that they consider this to be an insurgency has incited religious hatred. Let's see how Galloway's fuckers like that. <laughs> then I'll say, you know what, I don't make a big thing of it, but I can be offended too. A friend of mine was put under a death sentence, which attempts were made to carry out for writing a novel, hmm. unpicking uh, some of the contradictions in the Quran, saying that religious texts can be used for, religious, for literary purposes. Hmm. Incitement to his murder was made. I don't mind the incitement. That's free speech. Efforts were made to kill him. Hmm. Anyone involved in forwarding those efforts had better be willing to face a, an English court and an English jury, and I can't wait to see it happen. Hmm. But the Do you think I don't care that the Bamiyan Buddhas were blown up? I'm not a Buddhist. Hmm. Do you think I don't care that the Afghan National Museum was gone through with hammers, tray by tray, till every single thing back to the Greeks in, in Afghanistan, the most religiously pluralist country in the world, had been destroyed, erased, mm. powdered? Of course I care. That's profane to me. Mm. That's obscenity. That's blasphemy. Mm. Let them face it. And let us, for heaven's sake, develop some self-respect and say, we have unalterable principles too, and on these we won't compromise. And the law in a free society should be yeah. on our side for once. Yeah. And that's what the police should be doing. Yes. Not wondering if... I wonder why he elbowed that person. Was it for his religion? Mm. But but come the, on. Grow the, up. It's un, it's un, I, I, I just don't understand how people sit still for this kind but of thing. But how uh, is this to be articulated, Christopher? Because of your... Ring not by me, you think. Uh, no, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> but how Clearly you feel I'm a very poor advocate. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent advocate. Thank you. Nonetheless, I just the needed law. To hear you mean how is it to be articulated in the statute? How, uh, statute how <laughs> by the First Amendment. Yeah. All, well, all religious belief is protected. We don't have the First Amendment. Exactly. All, religion is, all religious expression is protected, and all expression about religion is protected. So we should have a national constitution, yes. a written constitution. Well, we'll, we'll be living without it for far too long. Yeah. Uh, yes, part, I mean, I agree. If an exception is to be made, it's not to be for Muslim fundamentalists who advocate the murder of fellow Muslims. 
if you were a Bin Laden fan, you were in favor, for example, if you wear a Bin Laden t-shirt, mm -hmm. as I believe is done by some of Galloway's thugs and riffraff in these days, you are, you are, among other things, advocating the blowing up of the Bamiyan Buddhas and the massacre of the Hazara population of Afghanistan, which was the Shia minority, mm -hmm. who were put to the sword. Okay, then, see you in court. Or do you want to just have the debate? Because then I'll have it with you, and then you'll lose. Don't you dare tell me you have the law on me for my opinions. I live here. I understand English literature. I know the King James is Bible. I've read the <laughs> Don't you even try it. If you try it through the medium of Mr. Blair's Labour Party, then, then we really will have, really will have a fight. I think but we can I have, and there yes. will be blood, and, and I'm willing to see it happen. Well, there is, well you are willing to see it happen, you see, and, and More than I, at the risk of uh, earning your contempt, I, I'm going to get rather missish and uh, Forsterian about this, and say that, yes, I agree with you, that my, in a sense, tolerance is my religion, reason is my religion. If one wants to use that word, and it's unfortunate one's forced to do that, and say, all right, if your religion is that the Quran, the, 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 the Bible is true, and that everything it says is true, and that therefore anyone who disputes it uh, violently or makes a joke about it is, uh, is in, in some sort of contravention of your religion, then when you say things to me that are so uh, obscene about, you know, my sexuality, for example, which is obviously personal to me, telling you, you know, when there are people saying, you know, God hates faggots and things like that, um, that is an offence to my religion. But, as Forster pointed out, um, not a fashionable fellow and rather carpet-slippered and, um, and missish, as I say, but... If your religion is tolerance, then it, it extends even to that. You don't, I don't have Christopher's competitive will to, to, to test it with blood and fire, and, 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 and even, in the, even in a court of law. Um, I'm, I'm in the position that, I, that, that uh, I'm in a, in a liberal, writhing agony of saying... You silly old queen. Uh, yes, that's me and, there me and Morgan there Forster. We first, are. first, Forster, who I, I, you may... We'd have a fight about who it might have most. Oh, good, good, because I do. I, we really would. Yeah. But, the, but um, the fact is that the dictated texts of all three holy books do say that homosexuality is in sin. Yes, they do. But they, they really do. God does think you're a sinner. So why don't you say that God is man-made, not man is God-made? After all, the contradiction is inescapable. We think that it, it can't be less in any society than 5% of people are created gay. It cannot be less. So whether it's nature's God or God, he appears to allow for quite a lot of mm. sort of <coughs> characters like... Oh, but given what a big deal second, homosexuality so, so is... What, there's, no the, there's no difference to be split here. And second, there yeah. would be no parliament for this argument to be yeah. taking place in. But, well, if if Oliver Cromwell had not said, we, can, we will cut off the head of the king <laughs> before we will admit his divine right. We, we don't, we won't have it. His